it's in my pocket. I feel like people are staring at me. Just enjoy yourself, Carol. It's the fun. Diamond Casino and Resort would like to congratulate the winner of a brand new car. What is up, guys? Camel Squid here. Welcome back to another uh, podium vehicle win video has a review in it as well uh so <laughs> this week rockstar has been so kind to put elon musk's son um on the podium in the diamond casino and resort we got the Oslo x ash a12 <laughs> uh <laughs> We got the Asla XA21, which is distinctively based on the Jaguar CX75, seen in the body, silhouette, and rear wing, which you can't see it on here because it is retractable, retractive. Uh, the front of the car seems to be heavily inspired by the 2017 Jaguar F-Type. This, last week when I was reviewing the Tygon. The front kind of looks like that. This little. If you really squint your eyes and imagine it, it kind of yeah. Um, but anyways, the front of the car heavily inspired 2017 Jaguar F-Type, particularly the bumper intakes and ovular grill um, while the headlights appear to be heavily inspired by the Maserati GT which is Maserati Gran Turismo uh, let's see the rear of the car appears to take some influences from the McLaren P1 interesting I wouldn't have seen that particularly stock rear diffuser rear window and stock exhaust while the taillights and rear curvature resemble the Aston Martin DBC concept. I'm not sure what that looks like. Several elements of the car's design take influence from the Koenigsegg Regera as well, such as the side intakes and rear fascia influences. The interior of the car also appears to be influenced by the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. A lot of cars in this one. A lot of nice, specifically, not a nice car specifically. Um, it does have butterfly doors, which I love. <laughs> has a great sound. It is one of, if not the best sounding car in the game, in my opinion. <laughs> that is America's ass. Uh, so, fun fact. I actually have this car. I'm pretty sure it is upgraded. So, we're going to test and look at the specs of that one as well, compared to this one. The only difference, really, besides uh, performance that's different is the color. Mine's more of a yellow, which I believe I bought stock. Or I, I believe I bought it yellow and left it like that. I might have put, like, black secondary color or something. Um, this car, if you are to buy it straight up, is $2,375,000. After upgrades, 2.6, maybe even 2.7. So I bought it this... Actually, I can't remember. Did I buy it orange? And then it just looks more yellow? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but this kind of looks like the McLaren Papaya Orange, which is interesting. So we're gonna head... Actually, we're gonna head outside, because this actually happens to be Elon Musk's son. <laughs> so we're gonna hop in that one, and we're gonna... I guess we'll test that one first, since we'll be in it. Go down to LSIA, test it, check out the specs. We'll do that on our way since the mod shop is right down there somewhere by the arcade. Uh, so we'll do that and then we'll... this one 
that we just won will be in the nightclub garage. So it kind of looks the same, similar color, but it is different. Uh, trust me, <laughs> it is very different. It is more yellow, I guess, than orange. So we're going to get the startup. Beautiful butterfly doors. Love them. Nice little purr into life, but then uh, we get to revving it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I genuinely love this car. Especially with the turbos. Oh. So we're gonna head down here to LSIA or to uh, LSC and see that wing popping up. It is not an air brake, unfortunately. It is just the wing, but it is beautiful nonetheless. I'll stop talking so you can really hear the uh, sound of this beauty. So hopefully you heard that, you can hear the turbos spooling up. I think that's one of my, f aside from the engine noise itself, because nothing honestly tops that, um, I think the turbo is probably one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> it sounds so good. So there you go, the x A 2112, whatever his name is, I don't know. <sighs> Brakes are upgraded. Secondary race cutter splitter. I guess we can. We don't really need to go through all of the. Um, all of the customization options on the other car if we just do it here. And then we can just check out what it's. That one has on it. So I really like that. The secondary painted lip. Alright. Uh, so engine, so we got tunes, engine block, and the engine cover, which is pretty cool. Of course, four out of four. Uh, there you go. Obviously, the secondary options will be whatever you pick for your secondary. Same with primary, even. So this is just what it looks like. I don't think it changes anything to actually change the performance. Oh, the traction. If you have the stock one, traction goes down a little. I wonder if that's because it's a little heavier. It loses traction. So yeah, I wonder if it's a little heavier if you upgrade it. That's interesting. I don't, know. I don't think I ever noticed that. Uh, but the engine cover, that's that right below the window. And this is obviously all cosmetic. Ooh. I didn't even notice we got uh, the arrow on the fenders as well. <laughs> I didn't even notice it yet. That's the one I have on it. Interesting. That's kind of funny. Uh, the exhaust. Gotta have the triple painting cover. Nice. Alright, there's that. The quads. Yeah, all right, there you go. Explosives, grill, 15 of these. I like how this isn't included in the bumper. A lot of things they include the grill with the bumper. There are some that don't, but. 
something to do. Hood options aren't don't really change too much. I don't know why that's still unlocked. That's interesting. Of course, gotta have the xenons. And I do have the underglow. Nice yellow. There's the mirrors. Get a nice two-tone. Alright, so this has, yeah, classic yellow. It is classic, right? Yeah. It's not matte, correct. But that'll change most of the car. Obviously, any secondary options you have, which I have many. Not many, but I have a lot of secondary options. Anything on the interior? That's interesting. Changes the shift paddles. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, it also changes the... I can't tell if those are center locks, but the... Uh, that in the middle of the wheel. <laughs> and then the secondary color will change. Obviously all secondary options barely changes the uh, that hood a little bit around the intakes. Or vents, whatever. Oh nice, the door handle changes too. That's cool. Anything on the interior? No. And then the trim is, of course, all your padding in here. Nice. Crew emblem goes right there on the door. Pretty uh, insignificant. And we also got the roof. We got the stock vortex generators. Secondary vortex generators and the carbon vortex generator, so you can either have them on or have them off. <laughs> There's only one option, technically. Uh, obviously, because this is mine that I purchased, it's gonna be able to sell for money, <laughs> but the one from the podium will not. Alright, so we got skirts too. Custom Carbon Race Skirts, Stock Skirts, Primary Painted Extended, it really doesn't add too much to it there, I guess. Discreet Skirts, and we got the Carbon Skirts, got a fin, and a bit of a smaller one for the other one. We also got a fin up in front, I guess. Suspension. It really doesn't change too much. Transmission. Turbo. You can really hear the difference there. I believe these are one-offs. The stock rims. The closest would probably be... Honestly, probably... A combination of these. So obviously because they're stock, they're not colored, but... I, I kind of feel like the podium ones are colored, but we'll check. Uh, the tires... I do not have bulletproof tires, just white tire smoke. I should change that to yellow. Seem to be going with the yellow theme. Obviously the limo tint the windows. There's your visibility change. The engine cover, the engine window doesn't really... You can see it changes here, but you really can't tell in there. Interesting. So there you go. There's my Ocelot XA21. Obviously the headlights light up quite a bit, just like the Tigon. 
I guess that makes sense. It adds a whole nother light to it. Just like the Tygon. So now is when we'll head down to LSIA. We'll test this one because it's upgraded literally for that sole reason. And then since we'll be right there, we'll check out, we'll get the other one and test that. And then we got that LSC right down there that we can see what's see what Rockstar put on theirs. I can't imagine there will be anything on it though. Color is probably just orange, but you can probably buy that. It's probably the same color that when I mean, you buy it. But we'll see. Alright, here we are at LSIA. Uh, we got a nice barely visible moon up there tonight. So you can kind of sort of see the speedo and tachometer. Uh, it does have a digital one in the middle though, which is good, and I was not on the brake. That would be, uh, helpful. Speaking of brake, there's your reverse lights. There's your brake lights. Nice. Alright. So you can kind of, if you duck, you can see the speedo. Um, but not very well. Alright. So we'll get the acceleration from now. Very fast 0 to 60. Got that wing coming up. It is a decently fast car. Keep in mind this is upgraded. So the podium one will not be likely as fast. Hit the drift. Or not. I'm not good at that. Alright. Swing it around to the other side again. Get the brake. Get the e-brake first. Should we keep going, I guess? So I'm not quite sure what the top speed would be. It's like 115, 120 maybe. Swing it around once again over to this side. Keep it right glued to the ground. 10,000 RPMs, jeez. Alright, from those two lines right there, that was the e-brake. And as you can see, it's not that good. Which e-brakes never really are. Keep in mind this is upgraded, so uh, the regular brakes will be likely very good compared to the stock one. That's a little bit better. Still not good though. I mean good for me, but not very well drifted. Swing it back around here. So we can get the regular brake check from mm, nowhere. Swing it around to the other side. Very good handling though. I've been driving it a lot past once I found out the uh, that it was on the podium just to get a feel for it before this test. Alright, so these double lines right there. Pretty good. 
stopped right in the parking spot. Nice. Gotta love all the aero up front. All around the car, really. Obviously upgraded. Alright, so we'll head now to the garage. Put this one away. Pull the stock one out. Since they are right next to each other. Because this is... It's not quite worthy for the high-end cars in my eyes, but it is very, very much worthy for the high-end cars, meaning uh, not the overflow, <laughs> if that made any sense to you at all. Uh, but basically this garage, as opposed to the nightclub garage. That's where this one's going to be staying, the other one's going to is in the top tier of the night club. So as you can see we got all our other higher end vehicles here. We got the F1, the P1, the Senna, of course. We got the Devil 16, the Aston Martin Valkyrie, of course the uh, Jaguar X, whatever it is. <laughs> the Nero Custom or Chiron Vision GT. The Veyron, the Remac Concept 1, and the, I believe this is the 1 to 1, Agera 1, uh, Koenigsegg 1 to 1. Love this garage, honestly. Alright, we can get a closer look, I guess, if you want. It really isn't much different from uh, the mod shop. You got the tow hook there. I believe that is an option, maybe not, but uh, I guess the, that diffuser very much P1 I guess, although the stock one might be that one not so much compared to this one which is, I don't think this is P1 actually, the diffuser, it might be, I don't know, but anyways, there's the upgraded X Ash A21. 12. 12. It's 12. I always say tw it's not 21. This is 21. He is 12. Well, actually, he is a baby, but his name, <laughs> his name is 12, not 21. So we'll head into the top end overflow cars garage <laughs> in the form of the nightclub garage, there's that bright orange sitting next to the stock Bugatti Chiron um, and the the C1 that I purchased. Man, this uh, garage is actually really filling up. I did have to move some cars around. You you might remember this is where the NSX and the uh, I8 were. They are now not here. Let's get the stock start up. Nice. I think the wheels are white because mine are stock and they are not that bright. I don't know, maybe it's just the light. Oh, it does have the secondary arrow. I don't know if it's secondary, but it has that arrow uh, on the fenders. That's nice. Mm, anything else that isn't stock? I think the mirrors are stock. I think everything is stock. The diffuser is definitely stock. So we'll take that to LSIA real, or to LSC real quick down the road. And then we'll bring it back out. <laughs> Don't quite have the... Uh, the sound that the other one does. No turbo. Still beautiful sound. Nonetheless. I actually really love this car. Alright, so, speed round. This one 
has nothing on it. Front bumper is stock, secondary, I mean, diffuser is stock. Engine is stock, everything is stock. Cover is stock. The exhaust is stock. Explosives. The grill is stock. The hood is stock. The horn is normal. The lights are stock even. The neon kit does not exist. The mirrors are stock. The plate is that. The respray is matte orange. So it would normally be classic orange. So that's interesting. They actually went with a matte upgraded color. That's nice actually. The secondary color is, I would assume, it is classic dark steel. So that's... Wait a second. Oh. Thank you, Rockstar, for actually upgrading a vehicle for once, though. Interesting. The trim is stock. Crew emblem, obviously, is not there. Stock roof. Wouldn't sell for anything. Skirts are stock. Suspension is stock. Transmission is stock. Turbo doesn't exist. The wheels are stock. And I can't see the color, but I think they are colored like a white or light gray. The windows are stock. Alright, speed round. <laughs> so really the only thing that's different is the... Wait a second. I thought the... Uh, I thought that engine cover was upgraded. I guess not. I guess you can have the arrow over the fenders without upgrading it. That's interesting, I didn't realize that, yes. When I, when I was looking at this car the first time. Alright, so we'll get the stock performance. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, considering there's really everything's stock. Try not to get hit by this plane that spawns in inconveniently every single time right there. Oh wow, it didn't this time. Alright, speed round. Let's get the acceleration from right here. Right there. Still very fast, 0 to 60. I don't think it's going to quite get up to 115. We'll see when we swing around here. At least it's light out, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, not even 110. 105. So it is a 10 mile per hour difference. Upgrading it versus keeping it stock. That was a decent drift. All right, we'll get back up to top speed then and check the brakes, the e-brake specifically. First. From right there. Kinda seems about the same, but I guess it's the e-brake, so it's not really gonna change too much. E-brake is e-brake. We didn't up we didn't uh, upgrade the regular brakes obviously, so Swing around here then. And we'll get the regular brake. Okay. 
from this yellow line right there. Not bad. Even non-upgraded. So from like right here to like right here. That's pretty good. Alright. I guess that's everything then. I think if I were to upgrade this one, I would actually do the secondary color as white. Have that orange and white kind of scheme going. Have some nice white accents. As opposed to black or dark steel even. Because a lot of times I do orange and then I'll have like white or black be the the secondary but I think it would look good if I were to do uh, orange and white one of these days I feel like I have an orange and white car oh the ETR1 is orange and white that looks really good I think that's why this would look really good too but anyways there is the testing of the stock podium vehicle x A 21 12 I keep doing that. It's 12, not 21. All right, there you go. As I literally just said, the win review customization test of the Osla XA21. Elon Musk, thank you for providing your son with a car. Actually, <laughs> if Elon Musk's son played GTA, would he have this car? I think he would. I think I think his garage would just be full of this car, honestly. <laughs> uh, right. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, there's a like button. I guess it turns like green if you get more than 67 likes, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... I uh, that was a missed opportunity. Um, right, anyways, subscribe, turn post notifications on so you don't miss out when I upload new videos. These videos will come out every single Friday from here until I stop doing them or until Rockstar decides to stop updating the podium vehicle every single week. Uh, there's a playlist in the description. You click that. It has every single one of these videos. With that being said, I will see you all in the next one next week. Take care. Peace out. Yeah. All right. Sick. You can stop watching now. The video's over. Seriously, why are you still here? The video's over. Oh, I see you want to see my car collection. Well, too bad. The video's over.